Hey everyone, welcome back to Code of the Row. In this video, we're going to go step-by-step step through how to export your animated character from Blender and bring it into Unity 6, animations and everything. This tutorial will help you get up and running within a few minutes. So let's go ahead and get started. So I have my Blender project open with Sir Loin. Uh, he looks a little weird right now because he has his grid outline on him from the texture and he has all the animations listed and so on. Just gonna head over to the layout and actually just pause this animation. And what I want to do is simply just head over to file and then click export and I'll export this as an FBX. And for this, all I wanna do is just select the armature and mesh by holding shift and clicking on these. And then under transform, I'm gonna make sure that the forward is set to negative Z forward. I'm gonna use apply transform and I'm gonna hit this check mark over here. This is just gonna make sure that when I go ahead and drag in my sirloin model, that the position and rotation are both set to zero, zero, zero. And we don't want some kind of weird numbers on these just because it will make our coding a bit harder later on. And for the up, I'm gonna make sure Y up is selected. And then under the transform tab, I'm gonna go ahead and open the armature tab. And for the add leaf bones, I'm gonna go ahead and uncheck it. And then under this, I'm gonna make sure the bake animation is on. And I'll just make sure the NLA strips is on along with the all actions and everything else, yada, yada. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and export this to whatever location I desire. So I created this empty folder called tests and I'll just rename this to sirloin.fbx and go ahead and click export FBX like so. And now in my folder, you can see sirloin.fbx right here. And really simple, I'm just gonna go ahead and drag this into my blank project over here. So I'm just gonna drag this FBX into my project folder. I'll organize this later. And then I'll just drag this into the main scene and you'll be able to see that my position and rotation are set to zero, zero, zero. And he's kind of just doing this weird pose and he looks really scary because he has no texture associated with him. Let me go ahead and actually help create a material regarding that. So I'll head back into Blender and I'll go ahead and click the UV editing tab. And I have this uh, little texture that I can just go ahead and export and I can just go ahead and open this image. I'm gonna go ahead and just copy this folder name where I've saved this texture to that I've created. And for this texture, I'm just gonna go ahead and drag this in like so. And with this texture, I can go ahead and rename it to something more accurate. So I'll just right click. So I'll just hit F2 on my keyboard and call this something like chocolate milk. And then I'll also right click this again and click create material. I'll go ahead and call this M underscore chocolate milk. And it just created this gray one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and drag this texture over the base map like so. I'll go ahead and hit control S. And then when I click on my sirloin character here and go to materials, I'm just gonna go ahead and drag this like so and click apply. And now this will be the default material on this character. And you can see this character working just fine in Unity. And that's a pretty simple tutorial on how to get your Blender character over to Unity. Thanks for watching Code Throw. Like, subscribe, comment below. You wanna see next, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.